So, my name is Chef Lex, also known as Lexi, and yeah, we can try a little vlog today. I have a few things to do in the kitchen. I'm going to be cooking some octopus, which we call sea cat here in Barbados, and I'm going to be pickling some veg. So let's see if we can have a little fun together. I'm still figuring out how to get this on a lens to work, as you can see, I'm in and out of the frame. But let's see how it works out. I want to make a vinegar solution to pickle my carrots. Right, so as soon as it comes to a boil, really, you could turn it off and taste it, which I'm gonna do now. I just wanted to show y'all the in its It's a quick peel. I love this peeler. I don't know if you guys like check out different cuisines, but maybe I've been like watching a lot of Chinese vlogs. Yeah, I, I don't, I can't understand it, but what, whatever. I can see what's happening, and I, and I realize that they use a lot of different um, flavors to make a balanced meal. And I definitely like my flavors kind of like balanced. I like some sweet, some spicy, some sour, some salty. So not only do I wanted to preserve the veg, but just wanted to experiment with different combinations of flavors. Right, so I just tasted it. It's definitely garlic forward, but it needs a little more sugar. Just a little more water. So I'm gonna add some sugar, water. Let that sugar be soft. Yeah, I like this stuff. Nice, messy, warm bun. <laughs> so while I was doing that, I'm gonna get my carrots cut up. What I'm gonna do now is get out this sea cat, y'all. Fuck this video, sea cat. Y'all seen me do things well. I did sea cat before, but it was it was tender, but it it smelled. <laughs> I didn't like the smell, so today I'm gonna try a bit of a I think an Asian technique where you rub it down with salt. And also I watched like two or three videos on how to tenderize octopus, so I'm gonna be mixing and matching all of those techniques and hopefully getting the most tender octopus. Salt. Now to massage. Gosh, just get some of my nose in. What we're gonna do though is um so the next technique I saw is that you soak it in vinegar for 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do after I massage the hell out of this is actually Yeah, wash it off and then soak it in vinegar for 20 minutes. While we wait for that to soak, wait for the water to boil, we are gonna make the water that we're gonna boil the octopus in. So since I got some peels and carrots, you know, why not use them? Let's not put it away, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to get onion, garlic, limes, and lemons. Because the lime is what, the limes and the lemons is what takes out that scent. And also seafood and lemons, just like. Alright, so let's cut up these onions really quick. This is Chef, Chef Lexi. Reporting live in my chef jacket. <laughs> They be like, Lex, where you at? Catch me cooking in a trap, though. Sweating over stoves, plating up the dope. Take a whiff of the aroma. Damn, they put you in a coma. Tastes good, feels better. Tastes good, feels better. What you want? See, so I make it for gotcha. I see that I got you. Yeah, right outside my door. Oh, so, we can probably get some cilantro. 
from my lace the paper planes on the plate with her blaze. Watch your gaze, lots of told in speech. Now we don't need her, but let me grill up this speech. Watch your speech, it might slur. There's no need for concern. I just got burned, but hold on, taste this. Mm, tell me what you think, huh? They be like, like, where you at? Catch me cooking in the trap, though. Sweating over stoves, plating up the dope. Take a whiff of the aroma. Damn, they put you in a coma. Tastes good, feels better. Tastes good, feels better. What you want? <laughs> they be like, like, where you at? Catch me cooking in the trap, though. Sweating over stoves, plating up the dope. Take a whiff of the aroma. Alright, <laughs> so you should be picking with mason jars. I don't have any. I have the used jars. I mean, if. If I was fine, I'd keep it for like six months to a year. Definitely a mason jar. But what I'll do with this, I'll prepare it the same way. I'll get some hot water and scald it all. And I'm gonna pack my veg in here. What can fit. But I, will, I would say, no mason jar. But you know, I'm just, I'm just running away. But so if you got any jars that you want me to use, just remember to treat them with treat them. This is just the beginning. Sometimes I, I, when I slice, when I stir, I feel the fire burn. I wish for nothing more. Probably cook more damn more for the fab them for them long days in the basement. <laughs> really what I'm craving. I can't even cook it up on a plate. So I like I see you guys. Catch me cooking in the trap, though. Sweating on the stove, slaking up the dope. Take a whip of the aroma. Damn, they put you in a coma. Tastes good. Feels better. Tastes good. Feels better. What you want? Right, so the camera was too full, so we had to take a small break. I'll be on spit some fire, so let's be privy to the fire. No, baby? Yes. 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 My husband doesn't want to be a part of my vlog, so guess what? Say that flame. Octopus three times, so let's try that. I'm just doing it for three seconds at a time, actually. It's two, this is three, four times, but let me try the big one four times. As you can see, it definitely is starting to cook. Let's put on a timer for half an hour and we'll be back to this bad boy. Yeah, I just want it chunky. I thought I was doing it for a restaurant. I'd be so anal right now, but for my belly, so it's okay. Every day, so if you made it this far, I look a little busy. I've been working. Thank you for hanging out with me today. 
please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, give me some feedback on what you would like to see next. This is not a cooking show, it's just my life and cooking is what I do sometimes. So again, thank you so much for sticking with me this long and I hope that you enjoy this video. Peace.